Hello and welcome to my February video. I've managed to set up most of my game consoles. All of these are wired up and ready to go. I've got the Nintendo on at the moment. The NES. Got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles running. The yeah, only systems I got disconnected is my Sega Mar system, my Atari 7800 and my Atari 2600. These two consoles don't look very good on a modern day TV anyway, so eventually I will um, get a, an old TV to run them on someday. But, uh, not a lot's changed. But um, I have got an, a few new games for my Sega Mega Drive and Master System. And I've also been replacing a few games that are not in very good condition with ones that are in better condition. Yeah. So yeah, next I'm going to show all of the new games I bought recently. So these are the games I bought for the Sega Mar system. Got Choplifter, Marble Madness, World Grand Prix, Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon Trap, and uh, they're all in a uh, mint condition because that's how I like my games all of the all three of these are complete with their manuals apart from this one this game is actually very difficult to get the instruction manual for so I'm not going to attempt it at least the case looks good that's all I care about for the, for the PlayStation I got Medieval 1 and 2 and uh, they're not perfect. Unfortunately, the first one, the manual is very creasy, but it's very difficult to find this manual mint because of how thin it is. And the second one's perfect. The disc's a bit scratched, but very clean inside. So um, that's my two new PS1 games I bought. And I've got some new ones for the Mega Drive. Behind this shelf here, because behind these uh, Mar system games there's more Mega Drive, um, behind that is one of my new games, Street Racer, for the Mega Drive. I'm not going to get that out. <laughs> um, and the other new one I got is Rocket Knight Adventures. It's all mint in its manual. So cool. Look at it. Oh. Yep, and that's all the uh, new games I bought recently. No. 
know. I know. Calm down now. Oh, okay. What about now? Oh no! Oh. <laughs> you calm down now. Have you calmed down now? Yeah. Okay, good girl. Hmm. What was the matter? Funny. You made funny noises. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Today I've just got something in the post. It's my first box of Epitrix game. Because my plan is I'm going to get a multi cart in the box and one original. That's the original. Multi cart I haven't got yet because I can't afford it. And then I'm going to get rid of all my loose cartridges. So, uh, anyway, let's uh, have a look at this. The annoying thing about this is um, the sticker, the big sticker that's on the front. But I swear there's a way of removing that without damaging the box. But the cool thing about this is it has a nice sheen to it. And it isn't squashed. 
because you find a lot of these and the the print is like really like manky and it's all just ripping and getting it's really all you know scuffed up and that this has got a nice new looking sheen to it so yeah it's all it's all straight edges really you know, i would say the only tiny bit of damage is that but that's about it so uh yeah i'm gonna open it up see what the inside looks like the um cartridge looks very new it's got a nice sheen to it um this part that holds the cartridge um it's in good condition no cracks this part however look how ripped and manky that is but it's only paper i could probably make a folder myself or, or get something like this you know an envelope you know just to yeah, I'd say an envelope with the um, lid cut off. That's pretty much what this is. So, let's check uh, the inside. The instruction manual went bad at all. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah, and the overlay looks really nice. Yeah. So that was a good buy. It only cost me £45. And all the others on there were going for like £50, £60. And they were all manky. This was the only mint one that was there. Yeah. Things like this are just becoming harder to find. So I'm glad I got this. Anyway, that's the end of this month's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I thought I'd make a quick video on showing my uh, trophy score. I just completed Shadow of Colossus. The you know, game I've been working on for a while. I've also been doing a couple of retro games using PlayStation Now, like Alex Kidd. And it's actually the first time I've ever completed Alex Kid. Yeah, you know, I've got Alex Kid for my old Sega Mar system, but I've never completed it on there. Probably never will. So. I'm just doing this one handed. There we go. Shadow of Colossus, fully complete. 66%. It's the best I can do because some of them require going through the game quite a few times like uh, that one I could do but it will take more time than I would want to spend on it but that one I don't know what to do that's too difficult for me and uh, this hidden one is um, something that I can't do either because uh, you have to complete a game. You have to complete the game quite a few times to get that. What's this one? Yeah, you have to complete the game's game a few times to get that one. And that one, you have to do all of the time trials to get that sword. You have to do every one. But yeah, look, I've got the rest of this stuff. All these trophies. I've got the rest of them. The funny thing is, this game's got the same score as Last Guardian, which is a game made by the same creator, and it took me just as long to complete it. That's so annoying. And, uh, yeah, I did Paper Doll. I want to do more on it, really. not possible to get this one to 100% I tried to do nightmare mode it's barely possible but I'm gonna see if I can get the S ranking just to get a better score yeah, Streets of Rage I could do more on that anyway Call of Duty Cold War do not buy this game it's fucking terrible there's levels you can't even access because they're hidden and uh, the online part didn't fucking work you have to um, get a Activision account to use it 
and I couldn't be bothered with it because all the trophies look like complete gibberish so I just deleted the game and got rid of it well actually I still got it it's under the bed it's because CEX has been closed for a while got Spider-Man 1 I've done quite a lot on this and uh, you know if I go through the game again I could get way more so that's something I'll come back to I don't know where you can get a hundred combo hits really don't know where you could do that. I made a start on these ones here, Assassin's Creed, Horizon, Ghost of Tsushima, Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal as well is a game that actually doesn't work unless you get um... Oh, who makes this game? Pervesta? Oh, I can't say Pervesta. I think that's how you say the, the company name. But yeah you have to get their account or you can't access the game, the game would not load. But I found a trick online where you just um, switch the internet off the console, click on the game, and it goes past it, which is a cool thing. <laughs> Shame that didn't work with um, Call of Duty, but yeah. Wish there was a way of uh, getting rid of the Activision thing with that. I mean, with the old Call of Duty, the one I played ages ago, uh, World War Two, it didn't even need anything like that. It just worked, so I don't understand that at all. Crash Bandicoot 4. Can't wait to play more of that. It's only the Enders. That's one I completed recently. 60. My, my scores seem to be in the 60s all the time. I don't know why. There ain't much left on this one either. It's just stuff I can't really do. Sucks, but... Fighting Vipers. Last two trophies on this require two controls. Two players, so I'm going to get 100% on that. Just need to borrow a controller from someone. Daytona, 100%. Sonic Fire, 100%. I could get 100% on Alex Kid in Miracle World, but um, I ran out of uh, PlayStation Now membership, so I couldn't finish it. But I'll come back to that. And Shadow Colossus, yeah. So, yeah, that's everything I wanted to show on this anyway. Um, yeah. I will make better videos next month, hopefully. So, yeah, thanks for watching. This is it this time. Maybe I might show the Vectrix multi car if I get it. Actually, I don't think I will. Just had um, my bike just broke recently, so yeah, I don't think I can afford anything for a while. So, <laughs> uh, probably be probably be in uh, two months. When I get the Vectrix multi-car, hopefully, anyway. So yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.